comet, asteroid, or something else. A Harvard astrophysicist believes there's a strong likelihood this is a craft of alien origin. Give me the best case for why you think this object may be extraterre uh, extraterrestrial and maybe alien form. Well, first, uh, its brightness implies that uh, if uh, it, it represents reflection of sunlight from a solid object, it needs to be 20 kilometers in diameter. That's bigger than Manhattan Island. And uh, this is a giant rock. Uh, the previous interstellar objects were hundreds of times smaller. So it just doesn't make sense that the, the third object from interstellar space will be 100 times bigger than the previous two and we won't see anything in between. And uh, moreover, there is not enough rocky material in interstellar space to deliver us a rock of this size, 20 kilometers, uh, over a period of about a decade uh, that we conducted the survey of the sky, um, because uh, th this material is very rare and you expect it once per maybe 10,000 years or longer. And so it's surprising if indeed it's a rock of that size NASA is saying this is a comet. It poses no threat to Earth and will remain at a distance of at least 1.6 astronomical units. That's about 150 million miles. It will actually get closest to the sun on October 29th, 2025, and that's when the Earth would be on the opposite side. It's as if uh, it, it tries to avoid us. We won't be able to observe it. Um, but uh, uh, it also comes from a direction in the sky that is crowded with lots of stars it was difficult to see it until july 1st 2025 and so the fundamental question is uh was this uh, designed by intelligence out there? and uh, my argument is that we should collect as much data as possible to figure it out and i um, uh, defined a new scale that is now called the lobe scale uh, after my last name uh, where zero implies a, a purely a natural object like a comet or an asteroid and 10 is a definitely technological object that maneuvers uh, broadcasts a signal or transmits some uh, artificial lights and i rank this object 3i atlas as a four on the scale between zero and ten and of course the more data we have the clearer it will become uh, you know as it comes closer to the sun it should erupt it should outgas and produce a beautiful cometary tail if it is a comet. We don't see a cometary tail as of now. The Hubble Space Telescope took a very uh, high resolution image of it, and all we see is some glow uh, surrounding it that is actually preceding it towards the direction of the sun, but nothing behind it the way we see cometary tails.